All right, what's up? Napalm here again. Uh, today I have a couple different things I'd like to talk to you about. Uh, how to properly ascend, how to make the game a whole heck of a lot easier on yourself, and simultaneously a potential exploit. Or you could... Uh, exploit's such a controversial word, I, I don't know what to call it, but let's say strategy, okay? So, first things first, uh, I'm in the uh, very last place in the game, the Temple of, temple of uh, Crown of Call, where there's five different uh, shrines to be taken. Now, generally what I do is every single time I ascend, I change alignments. And before I ascend, I'll basically go through and take over all the shrines. And because of that, I'm pretty high on the leaderboards now. I'm in the top 100 for shrines. Uh, you'll notice that this guy is level 35, and I'm level 53. Why is that? Well, that's because after I ascended, uh, because I had I had taken this over, but when I ascended and changed alignments, they were, all the shrines and altars were repopulated. Uh, with new characters that were plus or minus five levels from where I was at. And I believe at the time I was 40 something, probably level 40, I guess. And so that's why this guy's level 35. Um, so, yeah. Basically, there's two lines of thinking. Either you take over the shrine, which doesn't really give you anything except for 10, X, or 10 souls gained per hour to a maximum of 5,000 souls, which is basically a pittance. You can get that in no time just following my previous farming strategies. Or there's another strategy that's being talked about, and people are calling it an exploit on the forums. Um, I can't really say as I haven't done it yet, but I'd still like to discuss it. Uh, by the way, if you want to kill these guys, usually just throw up a meteor shower. I'm just taking my time because I want to give myself more time to talk. So, yeah. Also notice that I'm getting about 500 XP from each one of these guys. Now, I've been doing some studies lately, and it looks like no matter if the guy is level 35 or if he's level 50, I'm getting anywhere between 450 to 550 souls. After you transcend, or if you're playing the game for the first time, if you choose not to take any of the altars, you may end up putting yourself in a situation where all the player chaoses in the game are really low levels, and that you go through and just one hit them for 500 XP. Now, if you combine that with uh, a high combo, let's say a 10x combo, you can be in a situation where you're giving yourself an easy and very quick 5,000 soul income from just one hitting. Uh, I'll show you another way to kill these guys fast. Just freeze them in place, easy money. I get lazy at uh, killing these guys in the regular way. Because... So yeah, if you use the Ring of Bones farming method, and let's say you have a level 20 player Chaos just sitting there, and he's not throwing fireballs and seekers at you, so he doesn't interrupt your combo, you can end up having a super easy 5,000 soul income every time you grind Ring of Bones. Now this has been controversial, I know it's been talked about on the forums, and they say that it's been banned, I'm not really sure who exactly said that, because I never saw that post, but it's just what I heard. Uh, I'm going to try this out after I transcend. I have not done it yet, so I can't say for sure. That's why this video is just more conjecture than anything. But, uh, you know, for my subscribers, it's worth finding out. And uh, just in case they patch before I get there, I just want to let everyone know. So, uh, keeping this in mind, it brings up my second point about ascending. Now, generally, when you ascend, and you can see right now that I'm level 53, I'm at the ascension level. 
and we're going to go to the start menu real quick here. So you can see that I'm about to transcend. Uh, over here it says, yeah, I'm ready to go. Current level cap 60, I'm level 50. The ascension is ready to go. Uh, basically when I'm ready to ascend, what I'll do is I'll head over to the map. I will make sure that I've taken every single one of these. Now I'm going for the leaderboards, but if you're doing the method that I previously mentioned where you're leaving low level chaos warriors all over the place, you won't do that. Um, probably in that case what you want to do is power level through the game as fast as you can. That way all the chaos uh, warriors are fairly low level. And you need to get the second apex because you want to get all your spells unlocked. I mean you want to have that void spell uh, black hole because that's that's how you find ring of bones as well as chain lightning. Uh, and you also want to be able to unlock at least ring of bones. Uh, I've thought about the potential of not unlocking the rest of the game, but uh, uh, I'm going to check the viability about that after I try. So what I've been doing is taking all these over and over again to bring up the leaderboards, but, uh, you know, that's something for you to figure out and uh, maybe... And if there's any truth. So what else do I do? I'm going to head over to... I'm going to head over to the Hand of Cull. Head over to the Hand of Cull. I'm not I'm going to get this yellow chest. I'm going to get that yellow chest in there. I'm going to head over to Grey Fane over here. I'm going to get that purple giving chest as well as the yellow chest, which is here, and the teal chest over there. As well as, I'm going to head up over here to the Valley of the Dead, and I believe it's Tomb of Kings. There is two uh, dungeons in here, Crypt of the High Priest, as well as Tomb Gatehouse, that are super short, and they both have purples at the end. You can just run all right by the enemies, get the purple chest within a minute with both of these. So these are, at the minimum, the four chests or five chests that you want to get. Um, you want to do this every time, no matter what. Now, basically, there's two lines of thinking. Either you can farm Ring of Bones nonstop and just get these four chests, four or five chests, whatever, right when you are about to ascend. And I think the people that are on top of the leaderboards, this is what they're doing. They don't care about going and getting the rest of the purple chests and gearing themselves out like crazy. And it should be mentioned that if you're farming Ring of Bones, you'll have enough money to buy yourself really good inventory. And you want to get really good inventory before you send because uh, it'll be a while before you hit that level again and you want to have all high level weapons because it'll just make life easier. The second way of thinking, and it's what I've been doing, and I, I think that this is why I'm not as high a level as I could be, and that is because I've been trying to gear myself up like crazy. I'll follow the two other videos I put up, all the purple giving, non-alignment specific chests, as well as I'll follow whatever alignment I am and I'll get into an alignment dungeon and finish all those. And this will give me enough gear that I don't have to pay for anything. And all my Chaos Warriors are very high geared. The problem is, Chaos Warriors at this point in the game are so easy to beat. With a Meteor Strike, as I've just demonstrated, or Chain Lightning, you stun them in place and they're easy to whittle down, so it's not even worth it. Thus, the only real benefit to gearing yourself up is just making it easier for yourself on the, the following run. But if all you're doing is farming Ring of Bones, you never get hit anyways, so it's not really that important. So if you want to power level, purely power level through all your ascends, I say get these four or five chests, and then leave it be, ascend and just rinse. And if you want to make yourself as powerful as you can, make your Chaos Warrior as powerful as you can, because maybe they're going to fix the AI you know, later in a month. Jeez, who knows if it'll even ever happen. Well, you can do what I do, but it does gimp yourself a little bit. So yeah, uh, basically, I think that's the proper way to ascend. Uh, we've talked a little bit about potential exploits. 
as well as how to make the game a hell of a lot easier on yourself if you choose not to take over these shrines. You are giving up on, you know, maybe a thousand souls per hour, but if you've been watching my farming guides, you know that's a joke. Uh, these are just a couple things that we've talked about. Uh, I hope to have something more concrete for you after I transcend. Um, I'm going to be taking a look at possible troll boil uh, farming, if there's any viability to that, uh, as well as these low player chaos uh, farming methods. We'll see what goes. And uh, if anybody, anyone out there is currently doing it, I'd love to hear from you. I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. Okay, thanks once again, and uh, see you on the next video. Take care.